The breaking news out of Israel, two more hostages have been released. They're Yocheved Lifshitz and potentially Nurit Yitzhak, two older women, we're told. The family of Yocheved says she confirms, excuse me, that she has been let go. They confirmed this just a couple minutes ago. The Times of Israel reports Lifshitz was one of the founders of the kibbutz near Oz, which was one of the places Hamas slaughtered multiple people. Lifshitz is a peace activist who the paper says regularly transported patients from Gaza for medical treatment in Israel. She is somebody that's been talked about a lot in the news over the past two weeks. Joining us now from Tel Aviv is NBC News correspondent Hala Garani. So this is just coming out in the last couple minutes. A lot is still up in the air. But Hala, please walk us through what we are able to report right now. All right. Well, we first heard from the Qassam Brigade spokesperson, the military wing of Hamas, announcing the release of these two hostages. A source briefed on the talks confirmed to me as well about 10 minutes ago uh, that these two hostages were released following mediation efforts uh, led by Qatar and Egypt and said that the two hostages were chosen for release because they were elderly without confirming the names of the hostages. But, Katie, you mentioned Nurit Yitzhak and Yofjad Lifjits are elderly women, uh, one of the families confirming their release. Uh, this comes a couple of days after Hamas said that they had offered to release these two hostages, but that the Israeli government had refused to receive them, something that was adamantly denied by the office of the Prime Minister, Benjamin Netanyahu. But so far, we are confirming uh, with a source briefed on these talks that indeed, uh, after a couple of days of mediation efforts led by Qatar and Egypt that these two hostages indeed are in the process of being released and handed over to Israeli authorities, Katie. Do we know if it's going to be the same route that the other two hostages took? Will it be traveling from Gaza into Israel directly or potentially is it going to be through, through Egypt? Do we know anything about that? No, we don't so far. Uh, we know that last time the hostages were handed over to the ICRC, so the Red Cross and Red Crescent, and then handed over to Israeli authorities. So it's unclear if this is going to be taking the same route, but presumably uh, because one conduit, one way of releasing the hostages has been tested already, uh, we can assume perhaps that in this case uh, the same will hold true for these two elderly hostages. And the question, of course, is going to be for the family of the more than 200 hostages remaining inside of Gaza. Will there be more talks led by these Arab countries, Egypt and Qatar, to get more people out? Uh, as, of course, the entire region is, is waiting for this anticipated ground incursion by Israel into Gaza. But right now, no word exactly on exactly, uh, I should say, on precisely what route these two elderly hostages took to be handed back to Israeli authorities. So I've heard from families of the hostages uh, saying to Israeli leaders and to Benjamin Netanyahu, who this should be your first priority. You should be doing nothing until you get these hostages mm -hmm. out. And there's also reporting from NBC News and other outlets, frankly, that the U.S. has been urging Netanyahu and the Israeli government to hold off on a ground incursion while they negotiate the release of these hostages. Is that mm -hmm. part of the reason why we haven't seen any massive movement from Israel into Gaza? Well, we know that, according to sources who have been speaking to NBC, that uh, President Biden has been urging a hold off on this ground invasion in order to negotiate the release of more hostages. And it is possible that Hamas is using this trickle, this sort of two by two release of hostages to put some pressure on the Israeli side not to go in. We know that that is something that uh, perhaps uh, is a tactic, is leverage uh, that sh is possibly being used by Hamas to delay or even avoid entirely a ground invasion by the Israelis. We know that there has been, of course, this parade of visits by European leaders. The French president, for instance, Emmanuel Macron, is expected tomorrow in Israel. And so long as we're seeing this type of diplomatic dance take place, we can expect that this ground incursion at least will be on hold for now, Katie. Hala Garani, Hala, thank you very much.